Hi guys, and welcome to a special edition of The Misty Lady. Tonight I'm going to be reading to you a little bit of my insanity about my own body image and my weight loss. So I'm going to jump right into it. Today is January 29th, 1997. This is the first time I am writing in this journal. My life is going so well. I have a beautiful, healthy daughter and the most wonderful man in the world. The only problem is I can't be happy because of my weight. My weight is suffocating me. Now we're just going to move ahead. Friday, July 18th, 1997. Three months have gone by since I have written in this journal. I'm so embarrassed with myself. I have gone to the gym, but now I've missed a few weeks of it. I've had a cold and a sore throat. It's always something, always something interrupting my health and my weight loss. I think I will literally crack up. I cannot seem to be able to lose this weight. You know, I watched something on television the other night about a girl that had gastric bypass surgery. She really didn't eat that much and in nine months lost a hundred pounds. So what does that say to you? It means don't eat and you'll lose weight. We're going to move forward again. I just found this journal. I totally forgot about it. Well, today is January 25th, 1999. My husband and I are doing very well. We're so happy and my daughter is flourishing. My life is wasting away. I should be enjoying it, playing with my happy four-year-old, but I am totally empty inside. The fatness has totally engulfed me. It has won. I feel defeated, beaten, lost in a black hole, wondering if I will ever again be found. I see pictures of myself when I was this pretty blonde girl who was all tan and only a size 11. Well, she is lost. She is buried and suffocated. She has been drowned out by my fat. Oh, hi, guys. I'm back from that depressing. Well, yeah, anyway, so I have journals. Journals, this is just one of many. Filled, guys. I mean, let me see if I can even show you without showing you. All of this is just filled, 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 filled with weight loss and how depressed I am and how so mad I am at myself and about body image. But it's also filled with, you know, I lost weight. I've gained it. I lost. It's just insanity. I call this the insanity journals. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys why I was insane. Um, I'm not anymore. But um, so, yeah, in the very early 90s, I've always had a weight issue. And then I kind of kind of got control of it in the very, very early 90s. Like I'm talking the beginning of the 90s. And uh, I got myself to looking about like that. So, yes, that is me, blonde. And I was like a size 11 there. And I was happy with that. Um but then that didn't last. Um, I uh, met my husband. I got pregnant. And I am not using that for an excuse because there are people that are healthy and pregnant and in shape. Um, but yeah, long story short, it's been a battle ever since. Up and down, down and up. But I wanted to share with you a little bit of my craziness. Um, maybe some of you can relate. Do any of you keep journals? Um, do you write stuff down like that? Do you... Um, um, like to, I guess, express yourself through writing. Um, even, even don't even have to be a great writer. You just write something down, an idea or whatever. But I keep these and I was actually switching bedroom furniture and I had to move all of my journals and not all of my journals are insanity. I also write poetry and really nice stuff. Um, but I do have a stack of my weight loss body image. I hate doing that quote, <laughs> the hand in quotes, but I do have, um, a few of those that I just read and I think, look how long. I mean, that one started from 97. I have been battling this. I mean, you know, 
when I was, I guess, even a teenager, and, you know, I think maybe the thinnest I was was a size 9, 10. But back then, you know, it was considered a little bit chunky. I think it's a little bit easier in this day and age. I think body image, um, although it's still, you know, kind of a little bit twisted, it's not as bad as it used to be. Tell me if you agree with that. I think, well, you know, I hate to say it, but, you know, with the Kardashian movement and all that, the thicker chicks um, are, it's kind of, I don't want to, is it in? Is it more acceptable? I don't know. You guys sound off. But um, yeah, so that's a little bit of um, my craziness. Um, sorry for looking all around because I'm just trying to think. Oh yeah, so I don't want you guys to be like, oh, is this the video going to be all depressing? No, it's going to be great. So I don't know if I kept you guys up to date. I think I have. I weighed myself last week. I have lost another six and a half pounds in two weeks. I am down 32 pounds since April 2nd. So this week coming up will be another weigh-in. I'm doing really well. I am not starving myself. I do not feel deprived. Low carb works for me. But I do want to make sure that I say I am not a doctor. I am not a nutritionalist. You need to go to your doctor. I actually went to my doctor and spoke to her and she suggested low carb. Now I had done low carb in the past, Atkins and, and stuff. Um, so when I spoke to her about that, she was like, well, you know, I had all my blood work done. She's like, well, if that works for you, I, I see no reason why you shouldn't. So yes, you probably need to go to your doctor before you start any weight loss plan to see what is going to work for you. Low carb has been working for me. I'm losing weight steadily. I'm not on a crash diet. I, I, you know, I'm exercising, but I'm not going insane. You know, like I have to go to the gym seven days a week. I'm exercising every day. I'm doing something. I'm walking, playing with my dogs, any type of physical stuff. So if you are someone out there who struggles and I, you know, you could have five pounds to lose, 10, 20. You don't have to have as much as I need to lose or anybody else. Your, your body is your business and you know what works best for you. Maybe you were a certain way at one time maybe you were didn't weigh as much as you do now and you want to you know get on some type of plan um there's so much out there you guys know it you can google 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 everything and but like i said the the best way to do it is to um probably go to a nutritionist or go to a doctor to see what works for you and i hope that you do and i'm going to continue to talk about my weight loss journey on this channel um, and I will start to talk about some of the recipes I do. If you guys are interested in that, I will list some of my um, food journaling, things that I eat. Um, but like I said, I also journal some fun stuff. I keep a little mini journal next to my bed on my nightstand because one thing that I'm really also into is dreams. I have the most craziest, vivid realistic dreams ever and um, I'm really into lucid dreaming so if anyone doesn't know what that is I'm going to describe it down there for you you can read it and I will try to find a good website on it but so I love to write down my dreams I keep a little just a cute little pretty um, journal that I bought at the dollar store with a little purple pen and I journal in that just writing down my dreams and ideas so like I said I journal a lot more than just that I haven't journaled depressing crazy weight loss stuff in a really long time um because I'm trying to get out of that mindset of of being so down on myself um so with that said um oh I'm so excited guys I got my nails done so last time I spoke to you guys a couple of videos ago about my nails were looking pretty bad. I mean, even I was watching back on my videos and I'm like, oh, girl, your nails don't look good. So I went and had my nails done. They're a little bit longer than I'm used to, um, but still how pretty the sparkly. Yeah, because they usually, the tips usually hurt my fingers and I have issues, but I was like, it looks so pretty. So I'm sure I'll have issues. I have so many rings that I didn't wear because I didn't have nails and now I'm wearing my pretty rings. But yeah, I'm so excited. It may not be a big deal to you guys, but I love tapping them. Um, I don't get my nails done very often. So this is kind of like, oh, it's like so much fun for me. Um, I also wanted to announce that I have chosen a winner from my last video that is the bh um two-sided palette that i did with my daughter the rainbow holographic brushes and the holographic cosmetic bag a winner has been chosen so if you commented and subscribed and liked that video and left me your email or your instagram guys you got to go check it because i picked a winner randomly not too long ago and i sent them 
a message saying that they won. Remember, you have 24 hours to respond before I have to pick another winner. And on that, I want to thank everyone. We got such a nice response, my daughter and I, from doing our video together. Everybody loved it. I got all positive, wonderful, wonderful remarks. So many of you commented on how pretty she is. Thank you so much. And you loved our dynamics together. And we want to thank you. Thank you so much for that. We had so much fun. And we're going to do more. We're definitely going to do more. I had so many people give me such great ideas. Um, as far as the mother-daughter stuff, I had someone suggest that I have uh, she do my makeup, which, yes, definitely. Um, someone even had a cute idea, like do her makeup blindfolded or do like um, uh, a wheel where you pick out different colors, like you spin the wheel and it points to something. I mean, you guys just were so voiced and active out there, and I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I so much appreciate it, and that's why... I love to do these giveaways. You know, I have been researching and a lot of YouTubers, especially a lot of new YouTubers, they do a lot of giveaways. And I'm sure it's for views and for subscriptions and all that. Would I love this channel to grow? Of course. I mean, I love doing this, so I could care if I have, I have 50 subscribers, by the way. Woo! I mean, but I could care if I have 50 or 50,000. Um, I just really enjoy doing this. But that's part of the reason why I love just genuinely, I just... I really hope that you believe me, but I genuinely love doing the giveaways. I feel like it's just a way to give back. You guys invest your time in watching and commenting. And why not? If I, I have the opportunity to give little things away, I mean, listen, it's not crazy, you know, expensive, crazy stuff, but it's just stuff that I think maybe you would appreciate. Um, so I, I just have fun doing it. So, um, Again, I want to thank you all for really watching the mother-daughter video. And yes, there are more to come. So with that said, um, oh, real quick, I want to show you the lip gloss I have on right now. Hold on. I put it, oh, here it is. Put it back here. How pretty is this? This is L'Oreal. I'm sure it's been out for a while, but I just saw it in Ulta. It's L'Oreal and it's called Galaxy Lumineer Lip Gloss. And it kind of matches with the holographic bag and the brushes but I got this one for myself and they only had one left but this is so pretty oh I just love that um and I did research L'Oreal they are a cruelty-free company they don't test on animals however they do have like a little mm, side note on if you go on the internet and google them is L'Oreal cruelty-free Problem is, the problem that PETA has with them is that they also sell products in China. And in China, there are still certain laws that some products in China have to be tested on animals, which is... So, in other words, L'Oreal is saying that they don't do it, but there might be a product of theirs sold out of China that they might do it without maybe their knowledge. I'm guessing. I'm not really sure, but... um. Yeah, I try to stay really cruelty free. So I was glad to hear that they don't test on animals themselves. So this is really pretty. I'm looking at it. I'm not looking at the camera. I know. I'm just looking at how pretty it is. Um, if you like that kind of shimmer, um, it's really pretty over purple lipstick. And I, uh, Elsa was actually having buy one, get one 50% off on the L'Oreal. So enough with that. Let's get into the next giveaway. Yes, I'm having another giveaway. And with keeping with the journal theme, I'm doing my hands in quotes again, which I hate, but I'm doing it. I think it's just because my nails are pretty. Anyway, um, so with the giveaway, yes, I am going to give away a beautiful journal. Look how pretty this is. It says dream big. It's gorgeous. I love this. Look, the pages are all lined with gold and it's really, it's, it's nice and thick. And it's got like these beautiful lined pages. So, you know, with all of us having smartphones um, and tablets, I know that you guys do a lot with the apps. I do too. I mean, I have everything on my smartphone. Um, I do my grocery list. I have that little notebook app. But there's nothing better than putting pen to actual paper. And this can be your little private thing. It can be about whatever you want. You can write stories. You can write poems. You can write about your day. Um, about your boyfriend, your husband, your girlfriend, your kids, your, your dream about having kids. If you don't have anything, you know, I walked my dog today and had a really good day or I had a really crappy day. So, um, there's nothing better than writing things down. You don't have to worry about losing it because you didn't upload it. You didn't save the file. It's always going to be there. So I would love to give one away. 
Um, and with that, of course, you have to have something to write with. So I got you guys these really, so you get you like fancy pens, but then I saw these and these are like the longest, it says proven number one, longest writing average of top of gel ink brands. So this is gel, uh, ink gel, gel ink, can't talk, whatever, that's me. Um, and I got your purple ink. I hope you don't mind. So you're going to get both of these with the journal. But then I thought, I love makeup. You guys love makeup. We all love makeup. And I thought since I started this video kind of like a little down, I want to end it on a high note. So along with the journal and the pens, I had to get you guys a little bit of makeup. So I'm going to give away this really pretty, again, with the holographic. This is Highlighter by Paris Hilton. Now, do you guys know that Paris Hilton has a whole makeup line? She does everything from eyeshadows to palettes to rouges to lipsticks to false eyelashes to everything. And it's really, really good. You probably have seen it a lot in the discount stores. Um, in Florida, we have Bell's Outlet and Marshall's and TJ Maxx and Ross. Um, I think some of you might have Belks in your area. We don't have Belks here. We have Bell's Outlet. Same thing as Belks. Um, and a lot of her makeup is in there. And I'm like, whatever. I don't care. It is so, her makeup is really nice. So I would like to give away her Rainbow Highlight Palette. It's so pretty. I have this one. It's really pretty on the cheeks. And to go along with that, I thought, well, you know me, you got to have something to put it on with. Look at this gorgeous rainbow glam. Look at this. How pretty is this? This is a fan brush. Just to add finishing touches, I thought you could put your highlighter on with this beautiful rainbow brush. So yeah, that's this week's giveaway, the journal. And I want to hear from you if you do like to journal. Um, and always, as always, guys, if this giveaway is not something that you're interested in, Please always check back. I'm always doing different giveaways, but I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit the notification button, comment down below. Remember that in order to enter the giveaway, you have to do all of the above. Comment down below. Leave me your Instagram, your, your email. If you're not comfortable leaving your Instagram or your email on the public um, notice down there in the comment section, just let me know that. Um, just say, you know, put your YouTube name down there or whatever and just, you know, tell me that you would prefer not to leave that. I did have a subscriber tell me that. And what you can always do, don't forget, I am on Instagram at the Misty Lady. You can always direct message me with your private information like your Gmail or your Instagram or your email, whether it's Gmail, email, whatever. Um, so if you want to do it that way, I do check my Instagram several times a day. I check my messages. So you can also do it that way. Um, so yeah, that's it for tonight's video. It's Sunday. I'm recording this on Sunday, so I'm going to upload it. The week is coming up. I hope everyone has an awesome week, whether you're going to work, going to school. I know it's summertime. Some of you are probably out of school. Maybe you're in college and you're taking some college courses, um, or you're just going to work like everybody else. I hope it's a really, really good week for you. I know it's been really hot out there. Um, so everyone keep cool. Remember to take a deep breath. Even if you take five seconds out of your day, guys, it's totally, totally worth it. You're worth it. We're all out here supporting each other. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram at the Misty Lady. Um, also, Twitter, the Misty Lady One. Woo, I have a Twitter account. I have like no followers, but I figure that's another way if you guys want to communicate. And I'm also on Snapchat at Lori. Here I go. The Misty Lady, because I do have it in quotes on Snapchat. I'm going to get so much crap for the quotes. Um, but I am on Snapchat at Lori the Misty Lady. If you want to hit me up there and let's talk and communicate, tell me what you thought about today's videos. Of course, all ideas are welcome. Please, please, please. I love the feedback and the ideas. Um, any giveaway ideas that you have? I mean, I had someone tell me a candle. Um, I have my little Buddha statues. If you guys would like to see more of those, I'm always decorating my little Buddha statues. I'm also an artist. You know, that's my Misty Lady right there that I created. Um, I have more art. If you would like to see it, I can show you some more of my art. Um, I want to do what you guys want to see. So yeah, comment down below, subscribe, like, let's get this channel rocking and rolling. And I appreciate every single subscriber and everyone who watches this. Um, all right, guys, sending you a hug. Have a great week. And remember the contest is for, I forgot to say that because I'm talking away. It's for three days. So I'm going to pick a winner on Thursday and then I will upload a new video on Thursday when I pick the winner and maybe there'll be another giveaway. Maybe I'll do one with my 
daughter. Maybe we'll do another makeup one. I don't know. But yeah, 72 hours for this contest. And as always, it's only open, unfortunately, to residents of the United States until I become huge around the world. Um, but for now, just residents in the United States. And um, that's it. Have a great Sunday night and I'll see you soon.